Hello, it's Scott Manley here. Now, I just wanted to make a little short video this morning to share with you this view. This is a view from a geostationary weather satellite, and yesterday there was a solar eclipse. Look at that, that is the shadow of the moon moving across the disk of the Earth. Now, this is a Japanese weather satellite called Himawari 8. It sits over the Pacific in geostationary orbit. And its camera can take some amazingly high-resolution photos. This is one still example. This is a 30-megapixel image synthesized by Colorado State University, and they're producing these regularly. Anyway, let's take a look at the eclipse sequence again. Now, this obviously starts the day before. The first thing I want to show you right at the start is those massed pixels. Those are showing us where the sun is. The sun passes right behind the Earth, and because we are close to an eclipse, it's passing right through the field of view of this geostationary satellite, so they have to mask that off. I, I gotta give full credit to D the Digital Typhoon Project that put these image sequences together. You can actually go to their website and get like a 24-hour video at, at basically any time. They also show you the different other colors that they are uh, you know, capturing in. Anyway, you can see the sun is rising over the Pacific. Look at the bright spot there. That is literally the point where the sun is reflecting off of the Pacific. The rest of the Pacific is blue because, of course, light reflected or scattered by the skies. Australia is coming into view at the bottom there. It looks a lot redder, but here is the moon. Now, look at how fuzzy that is. Right in the middle, that is where the, sol the total solar eclipse is happening. Everywhere else around it, that is a partial solar eclipse, right? There's no hard edge to that shadow because the sun is an extended light source, so it gets partially shaded before it gets fully shaded, and that's why you can't see the hard edge. And that's also why this whole uh, size of the shadow is about the same as the size of the moon, but you can't really see the edges because that's where the partial eclipse is just starting to kick in. I will also point out, by the way, the colors on this are rather uh, are approximate at this time. If you look at other sites that take more time to process them, you'll get more color correct images. To get an idea of just how big the moon's shadow would actually be, let's look at how big the moon is relative to the Earth. Last year, the Discover spacecraft took this fantastic sequence of images showing the moon passing in front of the Earth. And you can see that's how big the shadow would be if in this case, the Earth and the Moon and the Sun were lined up. They were not. They were lined up. The Earth and the Moon were lined up with the spacecraft, which was roughly in the direction of the Sun, but not quite. So while this is all very interesting, of course, it does illustrate one thing. Not everything looks better from space. Eclipses look way better if you are standing on the ground looking up at them. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.